The association between hemorrhagic complications and mortality may explain the survival benefit with bivalrudin in ST elevation myocardial infarction. But now in Jack, researchers report whether the reduction in cardiac mortality in patients with ST elevation MI undergoing primary PCI with bivalrudin compared to unfractionated heparin plus a 2B3A inhibitor can be fully attributed to reduced bleeding alone. Bivalerudin compared to unfractionated heparin and a 2B3A inhibitor resulted in lower three-year rates of major bleeding and cardiac mortality. But here's the interesting part. Three-year cardiac mortality was reduced in bivalerudin-treated patients with major bleeding and without major bleeding. In a fully adjusted multivariable model, Accounting for major bleeding and other adverse events, bivalerudin was still associated with a 43% reduction in three-year cardiac mortality. So here is the question the researchers do not answer. Does bivalerudin have some pleiotropic effects that are not yet known? I don't know the answer to that either, but I'm sure we'll hear more about it. For Cardiosource, I'm Peter Block.